Okay, five minute free game. Um, support the pawn. Looks pretty familiar. But familiar does not mean that we know everything about it. So we're going to push through with the pawn. Looking to maybe try and attack this area here. Let's just attack the knight. Let's get the queens off the board, shall we? Okay, let's capture here. So we're looking for a 2 on 1 on this pawn. So we can support by bringing our bishop through and supporting here. So now again they're focused bringing more pieces into the game, attacking the pawn here. A little bit like the last game where basically we're wanting to believe in the movements and the strategies and plans that we've created. So is there anything else that can support this pawn? So on a dark square this knight can't come in at the moment. We could attack the, the knight but he's going to take. So could we push the pawn just to disrupt their pawn structure? I think that is probably going to be the plan. We've got to be mindful, once we push here, this bishop can come and attack this pawn. So there's a lot of things happening in this thought process. Do I give up the pawn? Do I give this pawn up? Do I just develop my knight? Do I just develop my bishop? Is there anything that I can attack that's going to improve my position on the board? Looks like we're giving up this pawn, so let's say we're going to give this pawn up. Let's look at it rationally. If we jump this knight here, they capture with, say, the knight. We jump our knight here, attacking this pawn. Shall we go with that? Let's go with that forward planning aspect. We know this pawn is going to be attacked. Which one does he attack with? Attacks with the knight. So let's take with our knight and still focus on maybe jumping here. But maybe the bishop's going to take then it's going to be on here but then we have the potential for getting the fork on the rook and the king forward plan don't think we're going to be fast enough but fingers crossed if they get a bit too busy they might miss it so they've actually gone for that so let's bring our knight up here and see if they do miss or not Probably not, but you know, we went for a forward plan. It's, to me, it's always nice to have a forward plan, a, a bigger strategical plan than losing a single pawn, which doesn't really improve the opponent's position. It gives them options of more attacks, but does it really improve their position? Oh, they've spotted it. They spotted it, so we've given them something to actually think about. They've not actually gone and castled now, so their king is a little bit airy. So we could take the knight off the board. Bishop takes. Then we could queenside castle. x ray through to the king with the rook. So if we queenside castle now, then the knight disappears, and I think that knight looks a little bit dangerous to me. So I'm going to take the um, knight and then we'll queenside castle like we said. If the bishop takes, we think the bishop would be taken. So we're not doing anything magical at all here. This um, currently the position is a little bit jammed in for the opponent based on the fact that they've focused all their energies on that one pawn in this position. But did it improve their position on the board? Um, oh, it looks like they've left the game. Just as we were saying, did it improve their position on the board realistically? And they've ended up basically bringing their king off the line. It's not got castled. And it's looking like it's going to be, well, we'll claim victory on that because it did feel okay. But let's dive into the analysis because, as we know, the analysis is the one that shows us the truth mirror. And let's have a look and see what went on. So we pushed through. So that was a pretty quick game. And I'm sure it's not going to like what we did again. So 
got rid of that, got rid of that. So now they're putting the pressure onto the palm. So they've got two pieces there at the moment, as we mentioned. So then we brought the bishop support in, then they brought the knight. So the knight is now, they've got loads of pieces there. So this is, it said E6. And what is E6? Oh my gosh, it's actually showing that move. That's the move that we talked about, isn't it? Pushing it onto there. And then if they doubled or we take, well, they're not going to take there just yet because the knight's going to take. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that, actually. Yeah, quite pleased with that. But we decided on the bigger fish. And this is where I think the computer's not going to be happy with us, really. But we'll see. Okay, so we brought the knight up. Then they captured. And then we captured. Then they captured. And then we went for it. It's only showing minus 0 0.5, so that is genuinely neither here nor there. And then they moved the king, and at that point in time, yeah, we were going to go queenside castling anyway, but um, it's saying queenside castle now, whereas we captured. Ooh. Oh, look at the massive difference. Oh, look at that. So it's saying we should have queenside castled first to get that x-ray through that would have been better wouldn't it but we thought well don't really like this knight being able to dance look at that and it's dropped massively but the opponent obviously didn't want to wear any of that but we were expecting this and then we were going to be coming here oh, minus two minus two king e8 i don't really like playing against the computer Times can't even do that because this will just drop. Interesting times. Probably would have just brought this back here. So they were onto a winner. I'm happy. Um, we did enough to cause some sort of confusion to the opponent, and the strategical plan worked in a sense up to a point. Yeah. Okay. Still really not seeing the mass the massive minus 2.9, but <laughs> okay, never mind. We live and learn.